Just a quick explanation on how to install um, Kodiak or XBMC onto the G box. So first of all, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom and select settings. And then in here, you need to go down to security. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you may be used to this already. In security, you need to select unknown sources. You can see I already have that checked over here, but if it's not checked, you need to do that. Once you do that, go back to the home screen, go over to your browser, um, and go to kodi.tv slash download. In there you'll find the Android version. Um, click on that, download it, and um, I'm going to stop here, let mine download while that happens, it'll take a little bit, and then I'll come back and do the other half of the installation. So again, just a recap, go down to the bottom, select settings, select securities, and then you want to check unknown, allow installation from unknown sources. Once you do that, you can go to kodi.tv, K-O-D-I TV slash download.com. I'll put the link in the notes and download that. It'll take a few minutes. It's a decent sized file depending on your internet. So I finished downloading it. Um, the first thing to do is exit the browser, go back to the home screen. Come on, this is the third row from the top. Come on over to downloads. Select that. Now you're going to want the ARM version. I accidentally downloaded the x86 for some unknown reason. So let's select the ARM version. And then right here it's asking for permissions. Hit install. And if you're used to installing Android apps, this is as easy as it comes. It will run its own course. It will ask you if you want to allow Google to regularly check the device activity for security problems and prevent or warn about potential harm. Excuse me. I'm going to decline that. I'm not really planning to install a lot on this box other than XBMC, and I trust them, so I don't see a reason to run that. Um, I'm not sure, and I do not believe it would cause any problems if you would allow Google to do that. I know on my phones and my tablets, I'll allow it, I have no issues. So the app is installed now. Let's open it on up. So it's preparing the first run. It typically will download a few additional things. All right, so right here we go. First run. And it's going to ask you to run back through a few things. I'm going to exit back here to the full. All right, here's the full uh, menu. It is updating a few, as you can see in the bottom right corner, add-ons. Music, programs, systems, file manager. If you've used XBMC or um, Kodi, or higher, you'll be very at home in this system. Well, this is my quick how-to um, to install it. Once again, just to cover the basics, let's go back to the home screen and kind of walk through this one more time real quick. So you'll start here at the top row, go down to settings, your fourth row from the top, first one on the left, select settings. This launches the Android settings. Go down to security, select security, and then select unknown sources, allow installation from of apps from unknown sources. Make sure that is checked. You're gonna to wanna to go back to the home screen, go to your browser, and then go to the download page. Oop, I hit the wrong key. There we go. I did not want the calculator, I wanted the browser. And then under the um, download page, which I'll link to in the notes of this video, go over to the ARM version. Right here on the right, the little Android guy, do not select the x86, um, select ARM. Download that. Once it's done downloading, you'll go back to the home page here. Go over to Downloads. It's in the same row as the browser. You select that, and right there is the application to install. Um, after that, it's pretty simple. Now, once you've downloaded it and you relaunch it, if you scroll over here across the top, you'll have the XBMC. And it is super simple. I'm using the remote that comes with the um, box, and it works great. Very responsive. Well, check out my full review. I'll link to that in the bottom. It includes an unboxing, but if you already have the box, you just wanted to walk through on how to install XBMC, here you go. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.